Here, understand, go for a landing, 47 degrees. In the iconic Apollo 11 mission, history bore witness to the monumental feat of Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, who became the first humans to set foot on the moon. Yet, overshadowed in the limelight is the lesser known but significant figure of Michael Collins, who played a pivotal role in the mission. Now, decades later, Michael Collins has unveiled a captivating secret about the eerie mysteries the Apollo 11 astronauts encountered on their lunar journey. This revelation beckons us to explore the enigmatic events of the moon landing. Why is Michael Collins sharing this long-held secret? What unearthly discoveries did the astronauts make on the moon's far side? Join us in this video as we delve into the spine-tingling enigma of Apollo 11. In the annals of history, Neil Armstrong's words echo as a cosmic whisper when he ventured onto the lunar realm, proclaiming, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. This monumental phrase resonated with the enormity of the moment. Following Armstrong, the intrepid Buzz Aldrin embarked on the celestial exploration, unearthing the moon's secrets. Yet the mission had a mysterious character, Michael Collins. Orbiting the enigmatic moon in the command module, a solitary sentinel in the cosmic unknown. Deprived of the lunar stroll, Collins was entrusted with safeguarding enigmas concealed in the moon's shadows. For millennia, the moon has captivated humanity. A cryptic wonder we have fervently unraveled with an insatiable thirst for cosmic discovery the pre-technological era of lunar exploration. In an age before modern marvels, our ancestors gazed skyward with rudimentary tools, deciphering the moon's cryptic visage. They tracked its mystifying phases, predicted lunar eclipses, and spun mystic tales around its radiant orb. They intuited the moon's ethereal influence over tides and calendars. Legendary narratives wove connections between lunar rhythms and the human psyche's innermost mysteries, forging paths across the celestial expanse in their quest to unearth lunar secrets. From that moment on, people were trying hard to grasp the moon. They were desperate to discover what was the moon? How was it shining? Was there any land or not? Due to the limited power source, it was impossible to stir and gather knowledge from such a distance. But as the saying goes, humans are naturally inquisitive, constantly drawn to the pursuit of what may seem impossible. So, they were diligently sticking to conquering the moon even before the modern technology was there to help them come up with a solution to uncover the ever-mysterious cosmic thread. Pioneering Lunar Missions with their persistence efforts soon, they were able to create opportunities to reach the moon. Among all the missions that dispatched from this Earth, some were unmanned probes, and some were with animal passengers, and some were with human passengers. The very first lunar missions dispatched unmanned probes, such as the Soviet Lunar and the American Ranger and Surveyor programs. These missions furnished valuable insights into lunar conditions and geology. With each revelation about the moon came the growing desire to send humans to explore it. This ambition surged during the Cold War, where the space race between the United States and the USSR ignited national pride and technological supremacy. The Apollo Program. In 1961, the United States launched the monumental Apollo Program, setting the audacious goal of sending a man to the moon and returning him safely. The Apollo program encompassed multifaceted stages of development and testing, including suborbital and orbital flights, rendezvous, docking maneuvers, lunar orbiting, landing simulations, and extravehicular activities. The pinnacle of this program culminated in the historic Apollo mission. The Apollo 11 mission embarked on its historic journey on July 16, 1969. The first lunar steps. On July 20, 1969, the world watched in awe as the lunar module descended onto the moon's surface. 
the intrepid crew, comprising Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins, reached lunar orbit. Armstrong and Aldrin separated from Collins, with their lunar module descending to the moon's surface. At precisely 2.56 a.m. GMT, the world held its breath as Armstrong became the first human to step onto the moon. Aldrin followed closely, and both explorers spent two hours collecting samples and conducting scientific experiments. Upon concluding their mission, they planted the American flag on the lunar surface. Reuniting with Collins, they embarked on their journey back to Earth. The return and its adulation. On July 24, 1969, the triumphant trio splashed down into the Pacific Ocean, completing their historic mission. The courageous astronauts were welcomed with grandeur, representing the audacity and determination of the human race. They had achieved the unimaginable, fulfilling age-old dreams and propelling humanity into a new era of space exploration. The forgotten third astronaut Collins's role as the command module pilot. In the Apollo 11 mission, aside from the two astronauts that successfully stepped on the lunar surface, there was another one. This person's name is Michael Collins. Even though he was not directly present while the story was being made, his role was out of ordinary. Collins assumed the vital role of command module pilot. While this role may appear less prominent, it was integral to the mission's success. Collins was responsible for guiding and maintaining the command module Columbia, which served as the mothership for the mission. This role was complex, with Collins tasked with the crucial docking procedure, where any error could imperil the entire mission. After the lunar modal departed for the moon's surface, Collins found himself alone in Columbia. This solitude, often misconstrued as loneliness, was far from idle. Even though he was there alone, he did not forget his extensive duties, included monitoring systems, maintaining communication with mission control, and preparing for the critical rendezvous and docking procedures with the lunar module returning from the lunar surface. In essence, Collins's meticulous oversight contributed significantly to the mission's seamless execution. Collins's unique responsibility, Michael. Collins's responsibilities extended beyond the mechanical aspects. As the middleman between the crew on the lunar surface and mission control on Earth, Collins ensured the prompt transmission of photographs and lunar observations, providing invaluable insights into the moon's composition. In the midst of all his preparations, he had to mentally steel himself for the possibility of a mishap, where he might find himself facing the daunting prospect of having to return to Earth entirely on his own. It was a great responsibility as others too's life was on his hand, and he handled Collins executed his duties with unwavering composure and precision, fully aware that he would not partake in the lunar surface exploration alongside his colleagues. He maintained the command module systems, including life support, communication, and propulsion, ensuring they operated optimally. His meticulous maintenance was instrumental as the command module was their sole means of transportation back to Earth. In this capacity, Collins played a vital role in the success of the mission, Michael Collins's period of solitude. Moreover, Collins also took on a role that transcended the technical realm. He served as the primary communication conduit between the lunar module crew and mission control while Armstrong and Aldrin traversed the lunar surface. Collins ensured that all photographs and lunar observations were transmitted promptly to mission control. These real-time observations provided critical information about the moon's composition. Another facet of Collins's responsibilities was the harrowing trans-Earth injection. During lunar orbit, Collins spent 21 hours alone in the command module, with each orbit including a 48-minute period of radio silence. In these moments, he orbited the moon in darkness, isolated in the airless void. This solitude would have disconcerted most, but Collins viewed it as serene solitude rather than stark loneliness. Collins's profound reflection. 
being the loneliest human alive for nearly a day was never a burden for Michael Collins. He regarded his isolation as a badge of honor. During this solitary journey, Collins found profound beauty in space and contemplated existential questions. Who are we? What is our place in the grand tapestry of the universe? How can we safeguard our planet from impending perils? These are timeless inquiries that have preoccupied humanity for centuries. That concludes our discussion today. If you have any questions or comments regarding this video, please share them in the comments section below. Remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.